Hey, one of the things that we're really excited about for the 09 season is the tubeless road wheel market. Now, Shimano has launched theirs last year. We've had a chance to ride those. We had a lot of really good feedback on them ourselves. But what really excites me is the new Hutchison brand, the RT1 Road Tubeless Wheel. Now, this is the first ever deep dish tubeless wheel set on the market. And these feel considerably lighter than the Shimano's. So as much as I like that Shimano wheel set, I'm really excited to try these out. So as part of our test, we're going to go ahead and weigh these in and then put them on our bike. All right, we're going to use the official bicycle showcase scale here to make sure that these are, uh, measurements are really accurate. And we've got a spacer on here that we, uh, we balanced, so that'll help us keep the wheel steadier, a little bit easier to balance. 671, not a bad uh, weight for a front wheel that's deep dish and tubeless. Let's see how the rear wheel measures out. Eight eighty-six, right on. That's about a fifteen hundred gram set of wheels for a deep dish tubeless. That's a good start. Let's take these things and get them mounted, and then take them for a ride. Now, whenever we do a test on any products here on Bicycle World, we always try and use the same baseline, whether it's the road or the mountain. On the road bike, we use our own CR1 race bike. Now, this is a really stiff bike, and we always use it because anything that we put on this bike, we're going to notice a difference. It's such a stiff ride that wheels, handlebars, seats, seat posts, we can really notice a difference. Now, today, again, we're testing out our new RT1 by Hutchison. One of the first things we look at is acceleration. Do they respond quickly when attacking, sprinting, or even climbing? Do they make me a faster rider? Compared to our baseline Mavic Siriums, as well as some of the other wheels that we recently have ridden, like the Easton EC90s and the new Shimano tubeless wheel set, the RT1s do accelerate better than these three, and in all three areas. Now, their acceleration is an upgrade, thanks to the super stiff 45mm carbon rims, carbon hubs, and precision high-performance roller bearings. For descending and cornering, the RT1 wheels are stable, accurate, and responsive, thanks again to the lateral stiffness of the rims and the precision bearings. The Fusion 2 tires feature a dual compound rubber and proprietary bead design that create an airtight connection at the rim. These tires give you a low rolling resistance and excellent grip in the corners. Because they're tubeless wheels, the tire profile is super round like a tubular and they're very agile. The RT1s do require carbon specific brake pads and you'll notice that the wheel width is a huge 22.5 millimeters wide at the bead. The wheel features replaceable aero spokes and nipples, and the Fusion bead design also features a built-in safety factor that prevents the tire from coming off in case you have a flat. If you do flat, the tires can be used with a tube if necessary, and the integrated airtight valve can be removed without any special tools at all. But the company does sell a flat sealer that will seal and inflate your tire in one quick action. So what's the verdict? Well, we really like the combination package, wheels and tires, but is it worth $2,500? Well, we, again, we love the ride quality of the tubeless experience, but the real benefit here was not so much a result of the wheels themselves, more of the tire. Even though they are the lightest, fastest wheel that we tested in this limited tubeless segment, the wheels just didn't perform well enough for us to recommend them as a racing upgrade. But because of the superior ride quality and performance, and the prospect of no more tubes, no greasy hands, and no more flats, the Hutchison tubeless system is an ideal option for people who want to ride centuries, do some serious training, or simply looking for more comfort in their riding experience.